So let's shift gears a bit and talk about the indie filmmaking process. Okay. Um, was it difficult to like get this film made yeah. or like finding financing? Was that a difficult task? Oh, wow. It is such a wild and crazy ride, <laughs> indie filmmaking. But you know what? It is like the best class ever in financing and producing and directing and all of that. It's a wonderful class. Uh, and uh, I spent maybe, I think we had about 18 days, including um, our post-production shoot. Uh, and I had a wonderful, like I said, cinematographer who really helped me out a lot, and my editor as well. Uh, but the financing, uh, we shot this thing on a fraction of a micro budget. I oh, mean, wow. usually when people think about micro budgets, they think of uh, films that cost under a million. Mm -hmm. This is way this is a under a million. This Just a teeny, teeny, teeny little tiny, <laughs> little tiny few percent of a million. Wow. And, and so uh, that part makes some of the decisions for you mm -hmm. such that, you know, you're not gonna have 30 locations on a micro budget. Right. You're gonna have maybe three or mm -hmm. four and you're going to beg your friends to, you know, let you use their locations for free, that kind of thing. But you know, that's what made the film so special to me. Uh, my friends, when they read the script and uh, they, I shared some of the research with them, uh, they cared about these women. And we always talked about making this story uh, so that my friends and their friends who served would be proud of what we ended up with. Uh, and. Uh, that's what my cast wanted to happen as well. They were committed to that. And, and so that makes the whole indie filmmaking process possible. Because without that kind of commitment from everyone who's on board, it's not possible. Right. So a team. <laughs> exactly, a team exactly. That, much better. that makes it possible uh, with regard to time and money and talent and all of that, yeah. So how challenging was it to juggle uh, the many hats you wore mm -hmm. doing this film? Mm -hmm. I mean, shifting gears from directing a scene and then into acting in that scene. Yeah, it was so challenging. <laughs> I will never do it again. I keep saying I will never ever do it again. And then I come up with these other ideas and I'm thinking, oh my God, I, am I gonna do it again? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. right? You know, that collaboration uh, is what saved me and, and kept me on my feet. Because there was, there was a lot that I didn't know going into it. Uh, and I, I was learning on my feet. Uh, the days were longer than I anticipated. I remember uh, one night uh, we were shooting uh, at, at the hotel, at a hotel, and I spent the night there. I was like, yeah. okay, guys, I'll see you here in the morning. I'm not going home. I'm just gonna sleep right here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, you, you do what you have to do. You know, it's, it's part, of the, part of the life of the independent filmmaker. Mm -hmm.